Whenever you open an app in your 48, you're actually creating a process. A process is responsible to ask the kernel for resources. CPU resources, RAM resources. How do you manage them? Using the diagsys top command. Let's take a look. To get more easy setup tips for your 48 firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. There are some different ways to sort up the processes that are running on your 48, but one of the most popular diagnose command is the diagsys top command. Now, whenever you launch the Diaxis command, you will see the different processes that are currently running on your 48. Now, you can filter those processes using the Diaxis top, and now you can set up a number, an integer, that will actually behave as the interval between the processes and the amount of processes that you wish to see. I've chosen 5 and 20 processes. So I have 20 processes and the interval that they will refresh is 5 seconds. Now let's take a look at the information that is being shown here. Let me stop just to look at those processes without interfering. So what I have here is the name of the process. New CLI is the JavaScript command line, HTTPS, the DNS proxy, and so on. I also have the process ID, which I may use if I wish to kill that process. I have the state of the process, which can be a process that is running, as this one or a process that is asleep. Moving on to the two more pieces of information that we have. The first one is the amount of CPU that the process is using. And the second one is the amount of memory that the process is using. Now, you will also see above the processes some gibberish such as the 99i what does it mean it actually means that currently the cpu is currently 99 idle so there aren't many processes that consume the cpu resource you can also see the amount of free memory that our 48 has that is the number that comes with the f character on the right and lastly, the 1S actually means the percent of system processes that are using CPU. In other words, that is actually the CPU usage in percent of system processes. That's the overall information that we get using the DAG system. But how do we kill processes and how do we toggle between processes that consume more CPU or more memory? That is coming up in the next video.